Neighbors rocked by the house explosion in the Sunset District continued with their cleanup today. The explosion on Thursday morning destroyed one house and caused two adjacent homes to be red tagged. I want to warn you, the video of the explosion we're about to show you is graphic. Reporter Dalin interviewed a man who was standing across the street when the house exploded. That man was standing right there, about 40 to 50 feet away from this house when it exploded, and it was all caught on tape. Surveillance video shows Albert Ng standing next to a light pole in front of his home. He and his next door neighbor were talking when a house across the street blew up. All of a sudden, we just heard a you know, explosion. Boom. Then we saw the fire. The impact pushed him several feet away. It took him a few seconds to regain his balance. He called 911. Just to see the glass and wooden, you know, the garage door. It looks like it's blown open. The force of the explosion blew open the back door of this white Prius. The driver later came out and appeared okay. The explosion also knocked out many windows and doors of homes on the 1700 block of 22nd Avenue. And not a scratch on you, huh? No. Not a single scratch. No, no. So, so. How do you feel about that? <laughs> That's lucky. <laughs> That's all I can say is lucky. Yeah. Like she said, we're lucky. Both of us, nothing wrong, you know. We didn't get hit by any glass or wood or anything. Authorities say the explosion killed a disabled woman who lived in the house and severely injured her caretaker. Shortly after the Thursday morning home explosion, this man told firefighters he lived in the house and asked if his disabled wife made it out alive. He appeared in shock and was crying at one point. San Francisco police would not confirm if this is the suspect. They say they arrested 53-year-old Darren Price for manslaughter and manufacturing drugs in the house. Police removed tanks and cylinders from what's left of the home. They also charged Price with two counts of child endangerment. The two kids who lived in the house were in school at the time. He's funny, that's all. He just say a few words, how's everything, uh, good morning, how are you doing? Albert says a family of four lived in the house. The husband, the disabled wife, and two daughters. The explosion and fire gutted two houses and damaged many others, including the yellow house to the left. Friends say this preschool teacher who goes by teacher Nung and her family rented the house. They lost everything. I think it sucks. I think it's heartbreaking and I think it's, um, I think it's a, it demonstrates the woeful state our city is in. It's a chance to change it and make it better. Friends and supporters started an online fundraiser to help teacher Nung. Despite the close call, Albert says he's not angry with the suspect. He wants to focus on repairing his garage door and the broken window in his kitchen. Got to fix up this, fix up that. It's like, a, you know, a lot of things to, to be done, you know. The fire department says the injured caretaker remains in the hospital. Due to privacy laws, they cannot say how she's doing at this time.